So next question is the cost of 2 kg of apples and 1 kg of grapes on a day was found to be 160 rupees. And you see then 2 kilo apple or 1 kg grapes ka jo price tha, wo tha 160 rupees. After a month the cost of 4 kg grape apples and 2 kg of grapes is 300. So 2 kg te rakhe, first case mein the price of 2 kg of apples and 1 kg of grapes is given. And in the second case, the cost of 4 kg of apples and 2 kg of grapes is given. So now what we will do, we will assume that the cost of 1 kg of apple is x rupees. Okay, so we are assuming this. Similarly, we will also assume that the cost of 1 kg of grapes is y rupees. Now we will take the first scenario. In first scenario, 2 kg of apple and 1 kg of grapes the price is 160 de rakha hai. so what will be the cost uh, the price of 2 kg of apple will be 2x because the cost of 1 kg of apple is x which we have assumed so the cost of 2 kg of apples would be 2x okay now the cost of 1 kg of apples the cost of 1 kg of, ap of apples will be or oh sorry 1 kg of grapes will be y y rupees so this is the cost of 1 kg of grapes as per the question, the price of 2 kg of apple that is 2x plus 1 kg of plus y and 1 kg of grapes is equals to 160. So 2x plus y equals 160. So this is our equation number 1. Now moving on to the second scenario. In second scenario what is happening that the cost of 4 kg of apples which is 4x and 2 kg of grapes which is 2y is given. So the cost of 4 kg of apples will be 4x and the cost of 2 kg of grapes will be 2y. This cost is 300 rupees. It means 4x plus 2y equals 300. So this is our equation number 2. So this is how we can represent the situation algebraically. Now what we have to do, now we will have to represent these two equations geometrically. So in geometrically what we will do, we will draw the lines for equation number 1 as well equation number 2. So what we will do, first of all we will write down the equation 1 as well as equation number 2. Okay. Now we will form a table. So in table for the value of x equals 0, we will find the value of y. So when we put x equals 0 in equation number 1, so this term will become 0. So y equals 160. So we will write down as y equals 160. Similarly, when y equals 0, so the x will be 160 divided by 2, which is 80. So we will write down value of x as 80. Okay. Now what we will do, we will mark the point x equals 0 y equals 160 in the graph. So x, x equals 0 is somewhere here and y equals 160 is here. So this is our first point. Okay. So this is our first point. Now what we will do, we will mark the second point. The second point is x equals 80. So x equals 80 is here and y equals 0. So this is our second point. Okay. So we will mark this point. Now we will draw a line which will join these two points. So this line will represent our equation number 1 that is 2x plus y equals 160. So this is our equation number 1 geometrically. Now moving to the second equation, we will form a table. In From this table, if we put the value of x as 0 in equation number 2, we will get the y equals 300 divided by 2 because this term will become 0 and the value of y will be 150. Now if we put the value of y equals 0 in the equation number 2, the value of x will become, actually this term will become 0. So what will be the value of x? It will be like this. So x equals 300 divided by 4 which is 75. So the value of x will be 75. Now we got it, we got two points. The first point is x equals 0, y equals 150. The second point is x equals 75, y equals 0. We will represent these two points in this graph. So the first point is x equals 0 and y equals 150. So here is the x equals 0 and y equals 150 would be somewhere here. Okay. So we will mark this point. So this is our first point. The second point is when y equals 0, 
x equals 75. So 75 will be somewhere here. Somewhere here. Okay. So we mark this point. Somewhere here. Okay. Now we will draw a line which will join these two points. So this green line will represent equation number 2 that is 4x plus 2y equals 300. इस इक्वेशन में हम एक चीज देखेंगे कि ये दोनों लाइन एक दूसरे के पैरेलल हैं व्हेन द लाइंस आर पैरेलल दे हैव नो सॉल्यूशन लास्ट केस में हमने देखा था लाइन वर इंटरसेक्टिंग सो दिस इंटर दिस पॉइंट ऑफ इंटरसेक्शन इज द सॉल्यूशन ऑफ द इक्वेशन 1 एंड 2 सो इस केस में क्या देखा हमने इस केस में लाइन 1 एंड लाइन 2 यानी कि ऑरेंज लाइन एंड ग्रीन लाइन आर इन पैरेलल सो सो दीस टू इक्वेशन डू नॉट शेयर द कॉमन वैल्यू ऑफ x एंड y it means the equation number 1 and 2 do not have a solution